Hello, and thanks for joining me. Well, I got this wood lathe doing great. I've turned several test spindles, and they're doing fantastic. I don't completely understand what I'm doing, but enough to get by. Uh, but I'm learning. And Billy's been a fantastic help. He's kind of held my hand through the whole process. And, uh, well, let me show you what, what you got to do from step one uh, to make it happen on the lathe. Okay, we're at my upstairs computer, and uh, I've got Cam Bam pulled up here, and this is a computer I'm using to draw profiles that I want to turn on the lathe. And uh, I'm not going to go into how to use that. I'm definitely not an expert, but I, I saved the file to a folder, and Billy's got this set up where I can go to. Winky's CNC, click Upload, select the file, and click Open, and, and it will upload the file uh, and make it accessible to the controller downstairs. So I've already done that, so we're all done up here. Okay, we're uh, at the Linux controller, uh, Linux CNC, and we're going to... Uh, load a file, open, and there's our toolpath. Okay, I'm hitting the home button, and everything's going to the limit switch so it knows where it's at. Okay, we're home. Okay, I'm centering everything this inch and a half stock in the four jaw. I'm using a metal lathe type center because it's got better clearance. I probably need to come up with a wood lathe center with a real small cup on it. I'm not sure that's super true, but a little bit off center. The center followed some grain. I think it'll work. Okay, the next step is to touch off. Okay, that's the uh, furthest corner right there. And then we want this uh, tool on the center of that corner. That's our zero point. Okay, we want to touch off on the x-axis. Click touch off and then you key in the uh, radius. And the diameter is 2.124, so that's 1.0625 for the radius. Click OK. And then click Z, touch off, and that needs to be zero, because that's my starting point, zero this way. Click OK. And that's where we're going to start cutting. I think that's right. We'll find out. Tell you what I'm going to do before we start cutting. I'm going to back the tail stock off. Take the stock out. and see what it does. We're going to make sure it doesn't run into anything. Okay, we're doing good. Cancel that. Put stock back in where it was. We're ready to try it. Okay, let's make some wood chips. Hmm. 
why it's going out so far like that. But that's the way the program's telling it to do, though. It would be nice if it would start right there on the X, but I don't know how to tell it to do that. As soon as we get to that X, it'll start cutting wood. Okay, this next pass, we're going to cut some wood. Like we're about round. If you look at this next path, it's going to start hitting that little detour there. Before long, we're going to see this little right there, a roughing on that. You'll see the cutter come across, pull out, go in, and I think you'll see a little bump right there on this next path. There it is. Looks like it's cutting kind of rough. My cutter might be getting dull. Okay, this is the finish pass, I think. Not the, it's the, the final roughing pass, and then there's one more. How cool is that? Now this next pass, we float it down in the program. So look. <laughs> that big chuck's got some flywheel effect. Oh, wow. That looks great. I like it. 
Well, that about wraps it up for today. I guess the next step is to put covers over my lead screws and over this you know, back here to stop all that dust from getting into my screws. I may, uh, I've used uh, standard threads. I may go to Acme or Ball Threads, I don't know. We'll see how well these hold up. So far this is doing well, but they probably won't wear as well as Acme Thread. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and uh, be sure and subscribe and hit that bell. Boy, that looks nice. That looks amazing. Also, check out Billy's video at Knox Machining. He did a fantastic job on the controller, and I could not have done it without him. Thanks, Billy. I'll put a link down below in the description area. Thanks for joining me.